Welcome back everybody to Mechboy 5 Mercenaries. Now guys, as I said last time, it is time to take heed, Kojo, go towards uh, Sulafat here and uh, do the next campaign mission. Ha! There is our beautiful dropship. Starting off to a new star, a new adventure, a new chance for our pilots to get eternal glory or, you know, die in a horrible puddle. All right, let's have a look at the quest here. It's a level 80 campaign mission. A local noble has grown overconfident and is starting a, to wage his own campaigns beyond the sanction of his superiors. We need you to break his siege of a local city and resolve this mess quickly. We are giving you carte blanche as to how you achieve that goal, just so long as you're successful. Okay. Our screen is going to like me even more after this. 22 salvage shares, accept the mission. We are a little bit over drop tonnage though, so I have to turn down a teensy bit. So, um, let us see. If I bring the Black Knight, we're still over tonnage. So, Black Knight and... Awesome. That would work. Or, Victor. I don't trust the Victor though. What about the Stalker? The Stalker would fit, but I don't trust these guys in the Stalker. So, it's gonna be Battlemaster. There we go. Annihilator, Atlas, Battlemaster, and Black Knight. I'm hoping that Captain Davidson survives that, but he is in the last mech. He's in the, in the back position, so he should be fine. Everything is okay. Everything should be alright. Here we go. Let's get going here, guys. I'm a little bit scared for the life of my pilots, but then again, we can get new ones if they die. It's the mechs that are expensive. <laughs> oh, I'm such an evil guy. Attention, prepare for battle -like departure. Warning, hangar doors. Better light. Stand clear. I literally forgot we to turn on all my online. big lights. Sensors I'm weird online. sometimes. Weapons online. All systems phenomenal. How about we change the hot color? Do something we haven't done before. Maybe something like, I don't know, maybe yellow. Got a little bit of, like a light yellow. See how that goes. This group is oh, going to be a new that's not bad. Employers. We're tasked with making sure that we find them and put them in the ground. Good hunting, everyone. Okay. So, um, Rihanna, I like you, but why? <laughs> why? Just, just why? This is, I mean, like, maybe we should talk about this, guys, for, for a second here, while we admire this uh, nice landscape at night here. But um, this is a design flaw that MechWarrior Online also has, uh, where the starting points are just so far away from the action that you spend literally minutes just walking there. Um, there is there is no value in terms of gameplay for that. Unless of course something happens, but uh, I mean we get a couple of random turrets here. That's not exactly what I would call challenging gameplay. Although I can't hit them, so maybe it is challenging. Yeah, it's gonna be 2,000 to 100 meters to get there. There's my battle master. Ooh, large laser going hot. Nice! Oh, let's look at this. And... Woo! 9.8. That was definitely 9.8 out of 10. The twisting screw of doom. Also, another helicopter coming in. Nice! Uh, Black Knight. Do you need a special in in invitation or something? That is weird. That uh, last guy on the land is always a little bit late. But I've been itching to try out that mod that changes the land's positioning. Honestly, dude, what is your malfunction? You've got the fastest mecha here and you're the slowest dude. Ay yeah, yeah. Well, I'll keep walking towards the point and through the magic of editing, you won't have to wait. And we have contacts. Wow, there's an ambush going on. We're getting ambushed by the enemy Atlas. Also, Locust coming in, but I'm hoping to resolve that problem before it becomes one. Almost, almost took him out clean with one shot. Ah, oh, come on, Locust, don't be like that. There we go. Okay, we've got an Orion there, we've got an Atlas there. Gotta be careful. Come on, dude, please. 
give me line of sight on my target. There we go. Now we go for these turrets. Rip. Still the Atlas around the corner. Everything is hunky dory so far. Let me at that Atlas. It's gonna be surprised by the Black Knight. That's why I'm getting, I'm getting my laser burden in before I can't shoot anymore. Ah, yes. Beautiful. You killed the living hell out of him. Right, I forgot this is a story mission. The story missions are actually not that badly crafted. Also, there's a catapult right behind this building. Nope, oh, and he just lost a learn 15. I just burned his side course clean off with one shot. Ah. Oh. High alpha, high accuracy. That's how I like it. Come on. One more shot and he's gonna eject. That could be a salvaged uh, catapult here for us. Hey, <laughs> bye bye! You! He's gone. Whoa, 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 guys, calm down. Calm down. There's another Atlas here that are engaging. The Scorpion there, there's something shooting from over there. I think it's an AC tutorial or something stupid. Target destroyed. Okay, thank you. Target Getting closer here. The turret. Now we focus on the Atlas. It's an Atlas RS and the catapult once again. Gotta go for the weapon pods, as always. Holmes is taking quite a bit of damage here in his battle master. Kill the Atlas here. Almost got him. Get that side torso. Ripperoni Jabroni. And now we got the catapult. The other side torso. The other ear. Get a little bit closer. There we go. He's down. Gotta eject. Alright. Big up zone is right behind us, but not too far away. That's okay. I have no issues with that. Target is down. Argent, follow me. We're on my home. I like my paint job, guys. I think it's it's quite interesting. I like it. Hello, what are you guys doing there? Are you playing with the enemy? That's okay. His mechs are all pretty fresh still, so we're fine. Gotta say, these planets look beautiful. There is there is something about majestically striding through the area here in your battle mechs. It, there is definitely something. I just wish there were there was more while you're doing so. A little bit more action sometimes. Not too much. Not the not the in your face. I keep spawning until you puke action. A nice mixture. And some of these campaign missions are insanely fun and also very challenging. Ha. <sighs> well then. Do we need that wing on our dropship? I don't think so, right? Ah, uh, it's invulnerable. Sad face. Uh, hello. Turrets. Some vehicles over there, there's another helicopter coming in. And going away. <laughs> I'm going away present. Killing yet another helicopter. Well then, I would say that was a successful mission. We took down two Atlas, an Orion, two catapults. Um, it's by the way ridiculously easy to take down these catapults if they only have two Learn 15s. Shoot left ear, shoot right ear, and they're done. Half a million sea builds, 320 reputation. We don't get any mechs to claim. Wow, that is pathetic. Okay. I will get the... Um, the level 15 and the 2 million lasers and let's get those high value items and I have one more for a medium laser. 2.6 million in salvage, 1.65 million cash for the mission, no damage taken to speak of. Just a teensy bit on the black knife but that is on the shield arm so that is fine. Absolutely fine. 
Well done, Commander. The siege has been broken. We've been paid, and the ISF has promised us more work in the future. Can't ask for more than that. 3.8 million sea bills, 2,500 reputation, AC-10, AC-20 tier 4, and an AC-Q tier 5. Kaching. And now, oh joy, we get to speak to Fahad. All right, mighty. Hi, Gov. Thanks for stopping by. Rihanna, tell you I wanted a word. Well, I do, mate. I definitely do. Because the situation down here is bloody ridiculous. It can't keep going on, eh? I mean, just look at them. Standing around like they ain't got no worries in the world. And me, busting my balls to get these mechs put back together. It ain't right. You know what I mean? Not really. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Oh, look, mate. No disrespect to whoever's been doing the job till now. But you got to start letting me hire my own people, eh? Seriously, this lot, they're a bunch of bloody dossers. Try to light a fire under them and they just stare at you like they're deaf and dumb. And you wonder why I complain so much? If it were up to me, I'd fire the lot of them. Okay, I'll see what I can do. All I'm asking, mate. A bit of help is all. Gonna get back to work now. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later. See, at this point, I would like to see a console where you can actually hire more staff for Fahad or improve the ship as a whole, and it's just not there. It's just a meaningless dialogue that doesn't add anything. I'm sorry, that's just redundant. It is an opportunity here. That here is an opportunity. I'm hoping either for a mod or for a DLC. That gives us maybe a couple more mechs, maybe maybe XL and light engine customization options, and please, for the love of God, dropship customization. That would be nice. All right, now that we've talked to the one guy. Let's go ahead and talk to the next guy, which is actually a lady that looks like a guy. Sometimes you never know. Rihanna, hit me. Commander, perfect timing. Spears has a new mission for us. Good. Securing the connection now. Go ahead, Sebastian. Commander. Good to see you. A shipping company, mostly supplying food, medicine, and materials to the outer settlements along the periphery, is being run out of business by raiders. My agents assure me that Comstar are the ones ultimately responsible for this egregious act. Paying these raiders to drive the shipping companies out of business means that people living way out here, completely isolated, will be forced to abandon their settlements. They'd have no other choice. We may have crushed Inferno, Commander, but Comstar's tactics haven't changed a bit. Comstar wants to consolidate their control over this region of space. Maybe they believe it contains more Star League facilities and more treasure, but I suspect it has more to do with the location of these settlements and the possibility of prying eyes. This area borders the periphery, not too far from where the ancient star map we found ends. Beyond it is the missing section of the map, here be dragons. Indeed. Full disclosure, Commander. I intend to lay claim to any archaeological finds we may discover in the name of interstellar expeditions. The mission I'm proposing is intended to undermine Comstar and their own efforts in that same regard. Though I suspect you'd like to stop Comstar as much as I would, especially seeing how willing they are to destroy innocent lives, I still want to make sure we're on the same page. We are partners now, after all. I would burn Comstar to the ground if I could, but unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to settle for Yamada's head. If this helps that effort, and we can do some good in the process, I'm in. And getting our hands on some lost tech doesn't sound too shabby either, eh, Commander? Not shabby at all. Good then. The company's supply ships have been hit constantly over the past few months. Their main supply depot is the next logical target. If that gets destroyed, the company will have no choice but to fold. Their margins are tight enough as it is. I need you to protect that depot, Commander. Consider it done. All right. Good luck. I'll have the briefing ready by the time we reach the system, Commander. Copy that. I wonder what kind of lost tech Rihanna is hoping for. Maybe a nuclear-powered toothbrush with extra vibration. In any case, um, what do I take from this conversation? Yamata! I will hunt you to the edge of the galaxy! But first, we'll have to take up this quest here, which gives us another 4.2 million sea bills and 3.2k reputation. 
going against some Comstar um, raiders um, trying to destroy a peaceful settlement. And it is going to be... Whoa! Where are we going? Up here! On the planet of Candice. Alright. That is quite a ways off, but on the way there we might actually be able... Let's see, what kind of mission do we have here? Nope, that is Assassination for Steiner. We don't want that. Okay, looks like we're just going to travel up there. Maybe uh, take a detour to Günzburg and Memmingen. How are we doing with Haus Steiner? We're still friendly, so let's let's see. Let's see if there's anything here. If I go in here, okay, we have to go over there. Can we just jump like this? It should be possible. It should be possible. I hope I'm not wrong. We'll see. Let's travel over there. It's funny how you always get a little bit of cash and then you have to pay your bills and <laughs> half of it is gone instantly. Just for traveling. There's a, there's a really artificial um, element to how much you're being decked in terms of costs in this game. Um, okay, let's go ahead and repair those mechs. Wow, these repairs are basically instant. That is perfect. There's the Battlemaster. And there is the Black Knight. Okay, perfect. Anything on the market? Awesome Banshee. Banshee 3S is actually a solid Banshee. Crab and Wolfhound. How about the equipment? There's a nice AC20... Four AC20 burst fires. These pack some serious punch. 7.6 damage per second as opposed to this normal AC20 here, which has a damage per second of 4.6, so that is quite significant. No uh, double heat sinks. How about Captain the barracks? Ooh, Major Peters. Yes, Meet join you us. In the ready room. Please join us. What about this guy? Nah, this guy is solid. Not so good with the weapons, but. Affirmative, Commander. I'll be in the hangar for pre. I've seen it all. Yeah, yeah. Now, we're hiring. I you. want to get paid for it. Okay, let's see. Can we? Okay, the travel works like I wanted to. So let's go to Memmingen next. See if they have anything good in here. On the plus side, we now know that we have a supply of high-level pilots, so in case they die through unforeseen uh, consequences, through unforeseen things, we have some spares. And yes, it f makes me feel a little bit dark to look at things like that. Stalker 3H. Nah, we don't need that. Equipment-wise, burst fire AC5s. Those could be interesting for an Annihilator project I want to try out, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase the lot. Kaching! Learn 20 streams. How heavy are these towards the, the normal ones? I think they're a little bit heavier, right? Are they? No. Should be same weight. So, let's get a couple of streams here. Why not? Boom. Mm, still no double heat sinks on sale. I know your story, and I'm ready to be of assistance, Commander. Okay, nothing crazy in the barracks. That is all right. Let's see, where is my next atlas? These are good lerms, good lerms. Okay. Maybe I just have to change the other atlas afterwards. Also, we have lots of mechs that we can sell. Look at that. There's a, an assassin, a quick draw, a jäger mech, hunchback, two quick draws actually, and a spider. Okay, I think there's like 10 million sea bills just waiting here in the hangar. That's okay. I might need to trade, to trade them for a Atlas Boar's Head at some point. Okay, guys, next campaign mission is gonna come up in the next video. Thanks for watching. You know what to do if you haven't done so yet. Other than that, have a great day, guys. Hope you still enjoy the series, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.